Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Peter with pdesignworks.com. In this tutorial, you'll be learning how to create a phone illustration in Adobe Illustrator. Pdesigns is all about giving you guys step-by-step -step tutorials on how to use both Photoshop and Illustrator softwares to create outstanding graphic design works. From logo and illustration tutorials to effects and image retouching tutorials, all at speed designs. If you know that's the kind of content you're interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell notification so as not to miss any future updates. Let's get right into it. So the first thing you'll do is create a new artboard. You come here and click create new. So we'll be working on the 1920 by 1080 pixel. So you click it and click create. What you do next is check if your smart guides and your snap to pixel is turned on. So they are turned on so we can move on. So here is our hardboard. So if you want to scroll in and out of anywhere on the hardboard, what you do is hold on alt and then scroll in and out by rolling your middle mouse button on your mouse. So and if you want to move to any direction, all you need to do is click on the space bar and then drag and then move to the direction you want like that just like that now to begin to create the mobile phone so select the rectangle tool click on it and then just draw freely a rectangle like this first you make sure we are on four points and Turn on the rounded corners and rounded caps and turn off the fill. So now this is what we have. So then we click on the direct selection tool and then round the four corners a bit like this. Just like that. So we can make this thinner a bit so we hold alt to drag the two sides together like that and then we align horizontally and vertically so the next thing again is to click on the same rectangle tool and then come to where the the curve is starting from like that and then draw down like this so you should stop at the other end of where the second curve is starting like that so we'll make these two points like that so now we'll click and hold to create the ellipse tool so we'll create a small circle here still with the two points Like that you click and hold for the rectangle tool create another free rectangle like this like this and then we round the corners like this We duplicate this by holding alt and drag into the corner like this and then we hold alt and shift to reduce it a bit like this we duplicate again and we reduce it a bit more like that so we can shift them bit to the side like that I think it's coming along fine so this is our outline you can just rename it outline or any name you want to call it well since it's the strokes so it will be the outline so everything here now is our outline so the next thing is to color it so we'll create another layer you can name it color drag it below the outline 
so now we'll select all the closed parts like this so these are the closed parts and then we'll come to this blue icon and while holding alt you drag it down so it creates copies of it on the colors color layer like that so it changes to red so the second layers are red so you click on this color place like this and then click on the swap to swap it to the fill so now we can select them like that and change it to the color we want so for the first color I'm using the fourth one here for the second one I'm using this color for this 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 and this I'll be using this color and as you can see it's coming more like a mobile phone so the next thing is to create like an highlight around this place and the upper parts or a shadow below so because the light is coming from the we are making the light come from the top left side so we'll create like a shadow underneath it so you create another layer for it you can call it highlight or shadow any one you want and then we'll go to the rectangle tool and create a free rectangle like this so we want to use this rectangle now as the shadow of it so we want to rotate it so to rotate it you come here we can easily rotate it like this but we want a precise angle so we are not doing that so come here to the rotate tool double click it while this is selected and then you can direct it from here click on the preview to see it as it's moving so you can see the direction it's moving to like this just like this so this is what we are so we are going for the degree of 330 like that click ok so now we'll bring it like this so the shadow will be below somewhere like this I think this is cool reduce the opacity to like 20 like that change the color to black can re reduce it a bit more Move to like 16 and then drag on everything use your shape builder to alt and click just like that and we have our mobile phone illustration if you have any question feel free to leave it in the comment section below and please remember to like as well so as to help others find this video also subscribe so as not to miss more content like this in the future thank you